Hey everyone, this is Project SPC. Today I wanted to show you an updated and simplified Latte Panda Alpha and GPU power setup. So previously I had bought an Xbox 360 power supply and an adapter to power my setup. I felt I was a little too overboard for what I was trying to accomplish and would like to simplify the parts and the availability of those parts for a wider audience. While I was watching a fellow YouTuber ETA Prime's video on the GTX 1650 and Latte Panda Alpha, I saw that he used a generic 120 watt 12 volt power supply from Amazon. I was previously hesitant of using this due to the setup possibly using 80 to 85 percent of the power supply's capacity continuously. It seemed like he had no problem using it, so I thought I would give it a try. ETA Prime's only overkill was the Pico PSU, which isn't really necessary because of this power supply's switching capability. I'll leave a link to ETA Prime's video and the parts I used in the description below. So let's go over the wiring harness. I have a female barrel adapter, 5.5 by 2.1 millimeters. This one's rated for 10 amps. You're gonna want a 10 amp rated one because of the graphics card and Latte Panda Alpha's power consumption. I've soldered those directly to some 20 gauge wire, which is rated for 11 amp power transmission and a chassis. Following the connector down, we've got a soldered on JST connector for the Latte Panda Alpha. And of course we have the connector for the GPU adapter board and this is what came with the adapter board. So in my previous setup I had this red wire which is supposed to be the 5 volt rail when used with computer hardware attached to the 5 volt rail on the Xbox 360 power connector. So now I don't have a 5 volt rail and I'd previously questioned how much current does it actually need to operate the adapter board. And as I'll show you in a moment, it actually doesn't take any. So let's go ahead and let's power up this setup. All right, so we've got a TV. We've got the power supply hooked up, green lights on, barrel adapters plugged in, wiring harnesses connected. You're gonna see the red lights already on the Latte Panda Alpha. It is ready to boot up and the adapter board has its light on, which means it's got power. So let's go ahead and turn this on, see what happens. And the fan's turning on, Latte Panda lit up. And we should be booting up. And there it is, GTX 1650. So there you have it. This is a valid power supply setup for the Latte Panda Alpha and the GTX 1650.